Here's how to use Digital Scorebook to live score a football game. Digital Scorebook by SB Live is the best way to live score football games and give your fans an awesome, immersive experience. If you have a trusted scorekeeper, live scoring your games is a great way to keep your fans engaged when they can't be at the game in person, and it saves you time post-game by eliminating the need to manually submit your final score. To use Digital Scorebook, you must first be the owner of a school or team, or have been invited by a school or team owner to help manage a team. If you've already created an account in Game Day or on scorebooklive.com and gained access to manage your school or team, just sign into your account and you'll be ready to start using the app. If you haven't claimed your school or teams yet, download the Game Day app and sign up for an account. Once you've created your account and claimed your school or teams, head back to Digital Scorebook to score your game. First, select the game you want to score. The pre-game hub gives you a chance to make any last-minute updates to the game information. Next, make sure the rosters are correct for both your team and your opponent. If you need to add a player to either team, you'll be able to do that here. Once the rosters are up to date, you'll be ready to start the scoring. First, you will select which team won the coin toss, whether the winning team will opt to kick or receive, and which end zone the losing team will be driving towards. Tap Next in the upper right corner when you're ready to start the game. Before we start scoring the game, let's take a minute to understand the main scoring screen. The team that currently has possession is indicated in red, while the team currently on defense is displayed in white. Below the score you can see the down, yards to go, and the spot of the ball, so you will always know the status of the current drive. Moving further down the screen, you can see a visual of the current drive that displays the team in possession as well as the spot of the ball and the direction they're driving toward. The bottom of the screen is where the action buttons are located. These buttons allow you to record plays, timeouts, and penalties, as well as the game options. The edit history button at the bottom of the screen allows you to fix mistakes and edit drive information, the spot of the ball, and even the possession. Tap the kickoff button when the game starts and select the type of return. Select the returner and the yard line where the return ended, then tap Done. The Next Play button is the most important button on the screen and is where you will start and end each play of the game. Every play will prompt you to select the type of play, the players involved in that play, and the result of the play. Once you have ended the play, Digital Scorebook will automatically update the down, yards to go, and the spot of the ball. If the play resulted in a touchdown, you'll be prompted next to select what happened during the PAT attempt. Follow the same process as you did to record the previous plays and press Done to complete the drive. To record a penalty, tap the Penalty button and select which team committed the penalty. Next, select the type of penalty, designate where the new spot of the ball will be, and whether the penalty has resulted in a loss of down. To record a timeout, tap the Timeout button and select the type of timeout, as well as the time on the game clock. You're also able to update the time remaining in each quarter to help your fans following along online. To do this, just tap the Minutes Left button at the top of the screen and choose the time remaining from the options in the picker. To advance to the next quarter, tap the Quarter button at the top of the screen and select Yes. If at any point you make a mistake, click the Edit History button at the bottom of the screen. You can either select Delete the Last Play or Quick Fix, which will allow you to flip the field, edit possession, the yard line, the down, and or yards to go for a first down. To end the game, just tap the Advance Quarter button in the fourth quarter and select the End Game option. Remember, this action can't be undone. Once the game has ended, the Post Game Hub allows you to review and edit plays from the game, export stats, share a final game update to social media, and even add your own commentary to the game recap story. When you're finished, tap Done in the upper right corner to return to the game list. As always, if you have any questions about what we covered in this video or anything else, contact us at support at scorebooklive.com and we'll lend you a hand.